Hey guys, happy Friday. Welcome back to our channel. We're back with another five weekly favorites. First up, I don't have it with me because I always depot my hand soap, if that's the right term. Mm -hmm. I put it in a hand soap pump, um, so I don't have the bottle with me, but it's from Target. It's called the Bayless and Hardian Hand Soap in Oud, Cedar, and Amber. Um, and this is, you get 16.9 ounces, it's $8.59. You have to order it online, at least for my Target. They don't have it in store. But it's a clean hand soap brand. I think it's from England. And I never heard of it, but the scent name caught my eye. And it smells so good. If you like woodsy scents, you would love this. If that's weird to you in a hand soap, then you wouldn't like this. But it actually reminds me so much of this dip tea candle that Carly used to have. I still have it. What, oh, which one is it? It's the one that starts with, I can't pronounce them. It's like, for de bois? For, yeah. It's like, starts with an F. I don't know if you if you smell that candle this smells so much like it, in my opinion it's very like woodsy and earthy but it's also a little bit clean so like you know fits the hand soap vibe um i love it i feel like i'm not <laughs> finding any other hand soap until the myers whatever that one is that i love like the the snow scent that they have in the winter that's still like my favorite and i like miss the cleaning spray and the soap i should have stocked up but until that comes back i'm gonna be buying this one it's really really good Okay, and then next up, we went to Ikea last weekend, which we should not have gone on a Saturday. It was very busy. Yeah. But I we saw Emily Schumann from Cupcakes and Cashmere post about this vase, and she picked up a, quite a few of them for her living room. And it's, like, under $2, mm -hmm. and it is such a pretty vase. It has this, like, beveled glass look, and it's not too big, actually. So, like, you could put it on a dresser. You could put it on a mantle. Like, it's really versatile, and we haven't filled it with flowers yet, but it's just such a nice silhouette, too. So, I honestly, it looks so much more expensive than, like, $2. Yeah. So, we, we had four in our cart, but then we wanted to do the quick checkout, and we had other items, so we had to put two back. But um, I would get more just yeah. for like every room because they're so pretty. But we haven't put flowers in yet, but definitely on our list. Then another home item is the Always Pan. What color do we have this in? Stone? I think it's called Stone. We have this stone color. It's so beautiful. It's more beautiful in person than we could have ever imagined. Yeah, you guys have definitely like. seen this pan on Instagram. Yeah, it's all over Instagram. And you guys know, well, I, I hope you know, if you follow us on Instagram, we usually like to cook on the weekends. We always make pasta recipes specifically from Bon Appetit, it's like mm -hmm. our go-to. Um, and we usually use our Dutch oven, but sometimes it's nice to use like something non-stick like this because the Dutch oven can be hard to clean. Especially if you're like sauteing a lot of, mm -hmm. um, you know, like garlic, onions, stuff like that. Well, like garlic, if you know, like when you cook it, it starts to get sticky. Yeah. So yeah, it can be definitely Yeah, difficult. so it's hard to clean. Where this is like truly non-stick, it comes with this like little steamer basket that I like we haven't to show, used yet. You have yet. to lift everything so they can see. Show them the steamer. Oh, okay. Steamer basket goes mm -hmm. in there. We haven't used it yet. But it's actually non-stick. It's so incredibly easy to it's clean. It's so durable. I feel like this could withstand yeah, anything. Anything. And the best part is that it has like a spoon rest, so the little wooden spoon that comes. Where is it? That comes with it. I didn't bring it in here. Mm -hmm. Um, like sits on this while you're cooking. That's truly the best part. So innovative. I don't know why other brands haven't done that before. Yeah. The color is really timeless and beautiful. They have a lot of colors. I really love the blue too, but Brita wanted the stone. I think it's more neutral. Kind of goes with everything. Our Dutch oven that we keep out is cream, so mm -hmm. I kind of think they look nice together. But yeah, we made a mac and cheese recipe in this last week and it was truly non-stick. Yes. The whole process was steam seamless. So now we really want to find more like skillet because that was like a, not skillet, what would you call it? Like a- No, that was a skillet recipe. Like a skillet, mm -hmm. yeah, um, mac and cheese recipe. So now we really want to find more recipes that you can just make in one pan, especially because the depth of this pan is great. You know, like a lot of these more like saute pans are shallow. This is pretty deep. Yeah. So you can really like make a full recipe in it. So, so far we are so, so, so impressed. Yeah, definitely worth the money. I know they always have sales too. Yeah, we have an affiliate um, mm -hmm. code with them. It's just the Garza Twins. It'll save you 10%. Um, obviously, you know how affiliate codes work. That means we get a percentage. Um, so use it or not use it, but we just wanted to mention it. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, um, we do have an affiliate code, but that means that we get a percentage if you do decide to use our code, but it saves you 10%. So do that what, what you will. Mm -hmm. um, use it or don't use it, but we definitely recommend this pan. We were blown away by it. Yeah. And then last is Rock the Block. Or are we at five? We're at, no. So then the next... <laughs> I'll talk about the Trader Joe's carrot cake. We oh, don't right. have that here because we finished it last night. 
but it's a new seasonal item and we love their desserts but this carrot cake it comes i think in the frozen section mm -hmm. and which is um, weird but it's in the frozen it's section. in the frozen section but then you thaw it in the fridge so we just kept it in the fridge so it's kind of nice because it was like a cool cake mm -hmm. um but it's super good it's really rich it tastes like a sprinkles cupcake in my opinion yeah. just like their other cake does i know so good definitely worth the cows yeah um, one of the best carrot cakes i've had yeah so we want to recommend that and then last is a TV show. We talked about this in our Wednesday video, so we won't dwell, but we recently binged season two of Rock the Block on HGTV. So it's basically a show where a team of designers each sort of tackle a house that was built identically on a block. And each week they redo a room and it's like not even just redo designing wise, it's like redoing the structure. Yes. And um, at the end of it, the winner is based on who had the highest resale value. So not so much the design elements, but we specifically watch it because Nate Burkus and Jeremiah Brent were a team on season two and they're our favorite designers of all time. We love them so much and we love the show. It ended up being like such a fun show yes. to watch. We couldn't stop watching. So really recommend that show. Like I said, we talked about it way more <laughs> length in our Wednesday video this past week. So we can link the video down below so you can listen if you want to hear our thoughts more on the show yes so that is it for our five weekly favorites we hope you guys had a great week and we hope you have a fantastic weekend and we'll see you on monday